hatless. In towards Young Philly with a real chance. And he equalizes. Beautifully taken. Good finish as well. Good composure. So that's Clive Tildesley's commentary describing young Philly's goal for England during Soccer Aid. What a goal. And here he is. Young Philly, how are you doing? I'm very, very, very well after that intro, man. Very good. Now, listen, what do I call you? Young Philly? Young you, Philly? What do I call I say you? Philly. Philly. Philly is just nice and short. Philly. Young Philly is just, it's, it's a lot. It's Philly. <laughs> well, there you go. And look, you're a big Palace fan. We've got Andrew. Massive with us. Palace fan. You know what? We're both sitting here with the same grins knowing we've just scored at Old Trafford. It's mad. <laughs> there, was, there was a great tweet on Saturday, Philly, where it said at one stage before you, Palace, ran away with the game that you two were the only people who'd scored at Old Trafford this season. That is mental. That is mental. And, and, and it was even better for me because it was a Palace player. It wasn't no other Premier League team. It wasn't no other player. It was one of our own, so it felt so good. Still, still the only two English players to score at Old Trafford. Mad. That's, that's, that. that's crazy. That is <laughs> yeah. crazy. So listen, Philly, what was the experience like of scoring in that game at Old Trafford? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. These are things of that you dream of as a kid. Um, obviously, I'm an entertainer. I do YouTube now. Um, but when I was young, all I wanted to be was a footballer. Um, and just watching match of the day, week in, week out, watching the players play on these amazing stadiums. Um, and even when we done the walkout, not even the goal, when we done the walkout and I felt the grass, yeah? The grass felt nice. <laughs> this is different grass. I'm yeah. used to like passing the ball and you get a couple of bubbles here and there, but no, it was unreal, man. It was unreal. And I don't know, if you look closely, for like a split second, I actually didn't believe I scored. And then when it kicked in, that's when I was like, right, cool, I need to find chance. And I just started yeah. running through his what, what level have you actually played at? Because that was a very, very well taken finish. Thank you so much. So I'm, I'm, my background's Colombian. So yeah. uh, when I was 16, I actually got offered a scholar back home in Colombia for a yeah. team called Autonoma in Barranquilla. I know it sounds absolutely <laughs> mad. Um, Say that again, yeah, so Philly. That's a good team name. Yeah, Autonoma, yeah. Uh, and I played there for a while. And that's as high as it got. It was a professional club, but obviously the standard in Colombia is very different compared to here. But yeah, um, it didn't work out in the end and I just come back. Do, do you play regularly here, though? I mean, do you have a team you play for on a Sunday or whatever? Do you know what, Mark? I don't. This, but now, now after Soccer Aid, I got told I'm going to go to the next one. I've just started a five-a-side team. I've joined the Sunday League team. I've joined the tennis club, a basketball club. Because <laughs> you know what it was? At half time, um, Wayne Rooney said to me specifically, I want you to play the whole game. I was like, huh? Because I was tired after the first 15 minutes. I had a stitch. And then we got John Bishop in training last week doing 70 minutes. So I said, look, I've got a problem here. I'm 25. I shouldn't be having a stitch after 15 minutes of running. What, um, what was so that like? As a, as a 25-year-old, you walk into the dress room and Wayne Rooney's your manager. <laughs> right, it's, it's even now when I think about it, like every time I, it gets mentioned or I look, I look back at my goal, it, it just makes me feel so humble and it makes me feel so happy. The first thing what when Wayne, what Wayne, well, the, the first thing Wayne said to me when he saw me was, "Yeah, man, my <laughs> jaw dropped." I said, "What, Wayne? You know who I am?" He goes, "Yeah, I love your stuff on YouTube. I love your show on, 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 on TV." And I was just, I was just in awe. I was in absolute awe. And then John Terry asked me and chunks for a picture. Heskey knew who I was. Andy Cole was more or less like my uncle throughout the whole experience. It was just that's incredible. Yeah, man, it's just, it's just stuff you dream of as a kid, man. So, Philly, when you, when you scored, I hope you're like, there's a moment's disbelief and then you're thinking, I know you did your run to chunks, you're thinking, I've scored at Old Trafford. I've scored at Old Trafford. I've scored at Old Trafford. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was bad. <laughs> and how do, if you look closely, boys, James Bay, the guy that assisted me, he tried to run and celebrate with me. No, nah, he but shrugged I said, him off. James, yeah. this ain't your moment. This is me <laughs> and chunks. <laughs> If you watch closely, I'm all pushing James <laughs> off. And I just started running to Chunks. But the excitement levels are mad. And the reason I run to Chunks, which is interesting, when we went in at half time and we was walking back out onto the pitch, Chunks said, you're going to score. And he goes, when you score, make sure you run to me. And I looked at him and I said, who else am I going to run to? Um, so that's why when it kicked in that I scored, I said, yeah, I've just got to run towards Chunks. 
I mean, we understand why he did that. But Andros, I feel sorry sometimes for the guy with the assist in the Premier League. Yeah. He's, you know, he's beaten four players, put it on a plate for somebody who's t- tearing off into the corner, yeah. celebrating, shrugging off the bloke who's made the goal <laughs> for him. Yeah, see, see, that's why I always make sure, because primarily I'm an assister. So I always make sure when I do score, I run straight to that assister. On Saturday, I run straight to Jeffrey Slup to give him acknowledgement, to let him know that I appreciate he did what he that. did. But unfortunately, Philly obviously wanted the glory for himself, him yeah. and his main man, Chunk. <laughs> no, Andros, don't do that. Andros, don't do that. You've been scoring in them big pitches. This is my first ever chance. I've got to celebrate that moment with my bro, man. What was it like in the soccer, soccer raid? Were the legends quite competitive? Massively, you know. Yeah. Do you know I thought was mad competitive? JT, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. JT. He'll never lose yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, you reckon? Yeah, he'll never lose that to the day he and dies. You, and you know what I was shocked at uh, about as well, Andros? I remember I was talking to Wes Brown. I ended up becoming really good friends with him mm. as well. And I think the last time he played a 90-minute match was... Uh, I don't want to lie for you, Wes, but I think it was years ago. And then I asked him, I said, could you comfortably play like another 90 minutes now? And he said, yeah. And really? he did not look tired out there when he was playing, man. So, yeah, man, the legends did take it very seriously. Um, they was doing tactics and stuff like that wow. like before the game and just telling me where to go, what sort of runs I should do. So, yeah, man, it was it was something that got taken very seriously. So, what is Jan- Wayne Rooney, yeah. future manager, yeah? yeah. <laughs> I'm you, he'd be good, you know. Yeah. He'd be good. He'd be good. I'll tell you what, his team tooks weren't the best between yeah. us. Yeah, between but us. But if between he us and everybody. Wayne could be an exceptional manager. Yeah. 